What's up, family? Welcome back to UTL TV. And today, we holding court, man. I told y'all, I'm like the witchcraft prosecutor, man. If I catch you doing it, it's off with your head. And today, we doing the symbology breakdown and the gematria on spiritual soul, on archives can see, and your boy Jabril Muhammad, AKA 19 Keys. Because I've been getting a lot of requests on Instagram and people been asking me like, hey man, uh, when these dudes first came out, you know, they was talking about the industry. They was preaching against the holidays. They was, you know, but now you can see these individuals mingling in the industry. You know, you can see these individuals doing the same symbology that you see these uh, 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 sellouts doing. You know, you can see them doing the one eye symbolism. You can see them holding the goats. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to break the gematria down because like I told y'all, the numbers never lie. And if they a plant, the numbers got to add up because these Jesuits, these Masons have to line, have to have everything lined up numerically. It's number magic. It's gematria. What is gematria? Breaking letters down to their numeric value. One, two, three, ABC. So we're going to get right into it, man. Let's go. If you celebrating Halloween, you celebrating Satan. I don't care if you look good, bitch. That holiday is pagan. I don't care. Let me get three sections, baby. Where you I from? Yeah, West Side, baby. Yeah. I ain't trying to get arrested from the from, I I gotta, on your side. from the pimping I'm doing though. He's double speaking. He just told you that Halloween was pagan. He just told you it was for the pagans and for people who worship Satan. Now on Halloween, he's dressed up. He's celebrating Halloween. You get what I'm saying? You got to peep that he's double speaking and he's wearing the black and white symbolizing the duality. You feel what I'm saying? Because he's speaking good and he's doing evil. Pay attention. Let's go. Okay, so right off the back, y'all, archives can see equals one on one and 47. Now, y'all remember that one on one and 47, right? Because I'm going to bring that up later. Now, one on one and 47 matching with imposter. Like I told y'all, he's an imposter. That 47 also matches with agent as well. Because like I said, these dudes are hired and pushed out onto the stage to keep, to keep us nice and tame, y'all. They know exactly what we want. They know exactly what we need. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like we got a real one speaking truth. When in reality, these dudes are mason. They are boule. They are skull and bones. Because archives can see also equals one on one and two two three sinking with skull and crossbones yes letting us know who he worked for there's no such thing as this many coincidences because archives also matches with demonic both with that 36 in reverse reduction and the reason you see him in 19 keys so closely tied together is because 19 keys is most likely his handler because if you take jabril muhammad his real name, you see it syncs with Archives, both with that 27 and 36. <laughs> yes, the numbers never lie. Also, Jabril matches with Masonic with that 34 in reduction, matching that 43. It's just mirroring it. That's all. And last but not least, Jabril equals 56. Just like Society of Jesus, a.k.a. the Jesuits, and the Jesuits received their orders from the Draconian, which also equals 56. So yeah, y'all, the numbers don't lie, man. We're gonna get, we, let's, let's keep it going though. Because 19 Key's real name, Jabril Muhammad, also matches with that Freemasonic, both with that 63. So yeah, it's a lot of coincidences, y'all. Let's keep going. Because 19 Keys, also has that 43 in it, just like Masonic and matching his first name, Jabril. <laughs> I mean, the numerology is there, man. This is number magic, y'all. These are agents put in place. Come on. Because uh, if y'all remember, Mr. Icons Can See made a live video on his um, Instagram, right? And the live video was captioned, I sold out with the clown emoji, you know, with the Shriners, you know, y'all gotta pay attention to the symbology, man. He made a live with, uh, featuring his homeboy, Jabril Muhammad. They was both on live and the live was captioned, I sold out. And if you put I sold out 
in the Gematria calculator, you will see it adds up to what? 101 and 47. <laughs> just like his name, Archives Can't See, just like Imposter. Yeah, and that 47 matching up with that agent. So he was basically letting you know for real that he sold out. Come on now. What do you thought he was gonna get away with this without somebody doing a gematria? Like you, you ain't slick enough, man. That was it was too blatant. You've been you've been fooling the people for a long time, man. And at first glance, you would look at these individuals and you would think that. They are conscious, melanated men speaking out against the system when in actuality they are placed in front of you to mislead and keep you distracted, distracted applying that head and hand practice. Look at this hand while I do evil with the other. Because if you've been watching archives, you know he so-called speaks out against the holidays, the government, even the satanic music industry making catchy songs informing the masses on all the evil and the poison they were being exposed to. But as time went on, I began to notice, why is he able to speak on all this and never get his pages took? Why did he go on no jumper to laugh and kick it with Adam? Knowing that he was a Masonic puppet who got the Baphomet tattooed on him. And said he disliked the most high out of his own mouth. Like, why? These are the questions that need to be asked and they need to be answered. Not to mention your hanger with sellout rappers who have been exposed. Like, if you are that revolutionary teacher you claim to be why are you with nle chopper duty low you know what i'm saying why are you taking pictures with goats are you sacrificing goats do you worship the baphomet you came out celebrating halloween with the little the the vampire draconian costume subliminally let subliminally letting us know what agenda you pushing you like to low-key show one eye symbolism and I'm guessing that black and white symbolize the duality you're projecting to your fans by speaking enlightenment, but subliminally practicing the dark that you speak against. Like, come on, man. Like, it was too, it was too, you know what I'm saying? You the same as spiritual soul or soul, or soul Illuminati, whatever y'all want to call them, soul Illuminati. And to be honest, his name should have told us that he was a control opposition from the get go doing one eye symbolism constantly spoke on the industry and the women in the industry and coming to find out you and ddg was messing around with the same female in the same circle you were lying about semen retention and staying away from the clout chasing women with the jezebel spirits you know what i'm saying like that's obvious then you sacrificed your brother to elevate your status and i was gonna do the numbers but call me kinfolk already did the gematria so we gonna take a quick look at his video when i'm done uh when i'm done with this because he had he had he had a lot of us fooled for real and i wasn't gonna do this for real off the request people were like man break him down bro do the gematria on him i wasn't gonna do it bro just off of the symbolism i'm seeing i'm like okay he is doing the one eye symbolism okay he is why is he with the gold i don't know why he taking pictures with the gold okay why is he with the rappers that he's speaking out against Okay, one time, two time. Why is he with Prime? Prime be with Aiden Ross. Prime is a sellout. I'm like, okay, he with one sellout, two sellouts, three sellouts. Why is he even in the front function with these guys? He not preaching nothing. He not exposing nothing. Like, you should be shutting. You should have been on jump and no jumper going in on Adam. They should have escorted you up off of there. Like, you on there kicking the bubbles. Like, I'm, I, I'm not understanding the agenda like you know so i ran the gematria and i seen like oh man i know what his agenda is he's a sellout he was placed here the numbers not syncing up for no reason these jesuits do not make no numeric mistakes trust me everything has to be lined up astrologically numerically this is number magic this is come on man this is how this is this is alchemy man we dealing with witches and warlocks so y'all gotta start paying attention, man. But uh, we gonna go on and let Kenfo get into this, man. I'm gonna let him do a little bit of the breakdown. I ain't gonna play too much. But uh, I'm gonna let him get into a little bit of the breakdown on this dude's spiritual soul so y'all can get a, a gist of what the hell happened with this sellout because he's a sellout as well. We should have been through that. Uh, 
And y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe. And I'm out, man. I say. All right. Now we're going to take Soul Luminati's advice, right? And we're going to look into Jamantria because he told us that it has to do with depths. So we can see that the position that he's in on YouTube clear as day. I mean, his name, does his name not speak for itself? But let's go. Let's let's get right into it, man. I ain't even finna waste no time. So when you learn Jamatria, like he told you, you need to learn Jamatria. So Luminati equals 145 in English ordinal. So if you're here for the very first time and, and you're new to Jamatria, Jamatria is the practice of turning letters into numbers. This is what goes on in the mainstream media every single day. What he was explaining to you is what actually happened in this case, right? Uh, politics, sports, everything is done by this GM, this Gematria code. Right now, English ordinal is simply the English alphabet in order. A, B, C, one, two, three. A is one because it's the first letter of the alphabet. Z is 26, so on and so forth. So if we add the letters up in Soluminati's name, we get 145. This is what he was trying to tell you. But see, he didn't know it was going to backfire like this, right? Soluminati equals 145 just like the car crash that his brother god triller was involved in equals 145 as well now if you pay attention to these different ciphers reverse ordinal this is the shit i do on my on my channel every single day so this is no surprise to me now reverse ordinal is the same thing that i just explained the only difference the english language is now in reverse so z is the first letter of the alphabet now and a is now 26 now if you add that up in that same form that same pattern car crash equals 145 just like so luminati but man we know we're near done this this just scratching the surface now so luminati in full reduction equals 46 along with sacrifice now let me explain full reduction now full reduction is just like english ordinal right a b c one two three only difference is we're reducing the double digits to single digits so once you get to the 10th letter of the alphabet one plus zero is now one and that's how you get this cipher right here so so, so luminati equals 46 sacrifice equals 46 this is what he told you with all these rituals all these deaths look into gematria letters numbers rituals because that's that tells you what's really going on here now we got the number 46 now god triller died 46 weeks after so luminati's birthday on october 4th of 2021 see he didn't think this was gonna come back to bite him in the ass right but let's go let's continue now, YouTuber God Triller died in a six car crash at Interstate 94. Everything they tell you in the news is for a reason. It's all ritualistic. Letters, numbers, rituals. Interstate 94. If we add that up once again, it equals 152. Just like Soul Luminati equals 152. But let's continue, man. Let's continue, man. I'm not done with this dude, man. So Luminati equals 71 in reverse full reduction, right? So I just told you about full reduction. So it's the same concept, but in reverse, right? Z is 26, two plus six equals eight in reverse full reduction cipher. So if we keep that same numerical system, right? So Luminati equals 71 in reverse full reduction just like car crash equals 71 in english ordinal virgo the car crash happened in the virgo season virgo equals 71. now if we break that down 71 is the 20th prime number just like death and r.i.p that is the death that involved his brother the car crash that happened in the virgo season and this is why it happened like this and if you are uh a regular on my channel you already know how this shit go i'm explaining it like this for the people that's seeing this for the first time he already told you that sh that you should be learning about gematria 
on his spiritual soul channel. Learn gematria.